Big moment for us, but let's talk a little bit about the takeaway from the 2012 season. Naturally, we expect Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren, and the like will be back and tougher next year, but so many questions. What will Mercedes have with Lewis Hamilton alongside Nico Rosberg? And what a moment for Nico Hulkenberg as he prepares to join the Sauber team. Yeah, I, I, I feel sorry for Nico. I really think he should be the guy that's going to be driving the McLaren. I'm sure McLaren next year is going to be very, very strong. I can't believe that Ferrari aren't going to make some sort of a comeback after this year. And, of course, Red Bull with Adrian Newey, who is absolutely the key man in any team at the moment, still looking very strong for next year. So I think uh, 2013 should be a very exciting year. Uh, absolutely titanic battle right through 2012. Amazing performance by all at Red Bull and Renault. Yes, they had their hiccups with reliability problems on the alternators, but when it mattered, they did bring the car home. They locked out the Constructors' Championship, $300 million plus in three years in terms of prize money. That will all fund uh, the 2013 car. They were back in force. And, of course, the two big names in Formula 1 we always talk about, McLaren, Mercedes, they want it more than anything else. And, of course, Ferrari, they would love to take the Constructors' Championship next year. So going into 2013, it's going to be an absolutely phenomenal battle for success in Formula One. The sad thing is, I mean, obviously at the end of any season, it's very emotional for the teams down there. We have know that. We've seen the emotion in, for instance, Felipe Massa. <clears throat> They'll all be going out to have a very good time tonight. But for us in particular, this is a very sad moment too. 16 years with speed vision morphing into speed. And this is our last ever race on speed, which is going to be very sad for all of us, I'm sure, especially you, Bob, who won't be following Steve and me along to NBC next year, which we're very lucky to be doing. And it's been great working alongside you. It's 21 years, 23 years since we did our first Formula One drive right. race yep. together. And uh, we've always just had the greatest, greatest time. And we've seen some fantastic racing over those years. There's no doubt about it. And of course, it was great when Steve came along to replace me when I went up to Le Mans. And you came and... God, never went away again. Still there. <laughs> you couldn't get rid of me. <laughs> you couldn't get rid of me. Well, I, I mean, I have to say, uh, working with Speed Vision and Speed Channel and Speed over the last 13 years for me has absolutely changed my entire life. I've worked for two Formula One teams. Uh, got great success in the pit lane with Benetton. Won the Constructors' Championship there, which is the height of my career in the pit lane, working with Benetton. And now working with everybody at Speed has been an absolutely phenomenal experience. And as I say, quite literally, it has changed the course of my entire life. I'm now uh, full Fully focused really on having a fun time in the United States and I don't want to go really I love being in America and I love absolutely love bringing Formula One to a very very enthusiastic audience that has watched us over the last 13 years well Steve has always been very keen to point out that Formula One is a team sport everybody matters from as Bob says the lowliest mechanic pushing a bream to the course the driver and certainly with speed and speed vision the team has been absolutely paramount we've had great directors great producers and a great backup team from everybody here from Frank Wilson right down through the group and it's been a marvelous time working for speed and I, it's going to take some they set a very high bar to take over there's no doubt about it at the beginning of the show we saw you and Sam welcoming that first speed vision audience 296 <laughs> Grand Prix races ago did you ever dream we'd be here today? I didn't. You're right, Bob. It's absolutely incredible, really. 290 races has been absolutely fabulous. I've enjoyed every minute of it. And as I say, what a wonderful team speed has been. And it's so sad to see them breaking up now, not doing the races anymore. Well, all things change. And now it's time for us to change as well. And I'd just like to say, David, it's been a great ride. Steve, thanks to you. We'll call Will Buxton home. We'll chat with him. Look for the final edition of Formula One Debrief coming up next weekend. It's been a great ride. And now I'd like to take a small moment to say a few words. It's a moment that I really hoped would never come. Next year, as David mentioned, Formula One moves to a new broadcast home here in the USA, ending Speed's 17-year run, as you know. It also ends a long partnership with my fellow announcers, David, Steve, and Will, who will follow Formula One to its new network while I continue my career here at Speed. My thanks to all of you out there for all the kind words on social media, recalling all of the race weekends around the world we've shared in the last decade and a half or so. The future for Grand Prix racing here in America, I think, looks bright with a great new event in Austin, Texas, and a second plan for New Jersey in 2014. Like you, I'll be watching. We'll leave you today with a look back at the past 17 seasons. It's been a great ride. And now for the final time, for David Hobbs, Steve Matchett, Will Buxton, Sam Posey, and all who've worked on our Speed Formula One team, I'm Bob Varsha. So long, everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm Sam Posey, and with me is David Hobbs. And the two of us 
would like to welcome you to the debut of Formula One on Speed Vision. I'm Bob Varsha, and let me start by saying how proud all of us at Speed Vision are to be bringing you this historic race. Joining me once again, as he did for yesterday's live coverage of qualifying, former Benetton Grand Prix mechanic turned journalist and author Steve Matchett. Bob, thanks very much for inviting me back. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is Bo Derrick, so we interview her. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed to meet you both. And like David Hobbs on a Saturday night, the event is subject to blackout. McLaren don't share the same problems that Williams and Ferrari have had to some extent. That was Simone, his girlfriend. If she played a card right, she could be my girlfriend. Hello, I'm Derek Daly. She said if I cozied up to her, she would talk to me. And she looks lovely, very Formula One. Amy Ryken didn't have bad luck, he wouldn't have any luck at all. I mean, it is uncanny, the stuff that goes wrong with this man's cars. Here's Raikkonen telling all the boys on the boat exactly what happened. He's my hero. Welcome back to David Hobbs' used car lot. He looks about like my cat does when I give it a big hat like that. Extreme psychological problems, but look at that. The British Marshal's doing a terrific job. Just leave me alone, I know what you're doing. I'm in America, baby! Ah, oh, baggage everywhere! Red flag destroys most of the field here. Nobody is going to stop him. Look at this. What? Oh. He takes it. Oh, come on. Around the Wow! He is the ball. Oh! oh. <laughs> and the checker's out. Now, who is that going to block? Who's blown up? It's That's a bad guy! The Ferrari is stopping! Wheel to wheel! You yes! He does it! He wow. does it! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, huge wow. crash! Kubica! Oh! Send him, boys. You've got Lewis is right behind. You don't think Alonso's playing mind games with Hamilton here, do you? Oh! oh, 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 oh no! Keep going! Oh, oh he's oh, beached it! He's stuck! He's beached it! You can't do that! You you lose it. It's over, boys. It's over. No! For the lead. The oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, wow! That is Mark Webber has gone over. Oh. Fantastic, guys. Stop there for number two driver. Please. Fernando is faster than you. There it is. Oh, boy. There it is. That's a bit brazen. Oh, oh got contact. That's Hamilton. Lewis, Hamilton. sideways. Oh. And Roman Grosjean and Fernando Alonso. I'm beginning to think that that's the official anthem for Formula One racing. It's about to be linked with Ferrari for always in the record books as Michael Schumacher wins. And it's Damon Hill's moment here at long last. He cuts, he cuts, says it's the battle, but they have contacted. He is the 1997 Formula One world champion. Finland has another world champion. The first from his nation to drive for Ferrari, and now he picks up that long-awaited first career win. A 41st victory, which puts you equal second all-time with Ayrton Senna. Do those records mean a lot to you? Yes, it does mean a lot to me. But Michael Schumacher in the Ferrari as the flags wave and the crowd cheers will win the U.S. Grand Prix at Indianapolis. Schumacher will win the race and with it, the world championship for Ferrari, the first since Jody Schechter in 1979. Kimi Raikkonen in Malaysia has been in a class of his own. Fernando Alonso, he'll take the checkered flag to become the youngest Formula One winner in history. Six cars and six cars only will take the start of the sixth United States Grand Prix at Indianapolis. What a fox. It's all about Alonso Diaz of Spain, who comes through to become Spain's first ever Formula One world champion. His 90th career win and perhaps his final one at Monza for Ferrari. I've decided together with the team that I'm uh, going to retire from, from racing. Victory for the first time in his career to Lewis Hamilton of McLaren Mercedes. In the most improbable of ways, Kimi Raikkonen of Finland will win the 2007 Formula One Championship for Ferrari. And now a new page is written as 21-year-old Sebastian Vettel wins his first Formula One victory and the first for his team. Felipe Massa has done everything he needed to do to win the World Boy, Championship, and, 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 but it's not over yet. That's Timo Glock. That's Timo Glock. Wow, he's done it. And he will come from behind 
to claim the world title. The racing gods are just playing with us. The youngest world champion in history and Abu Dhabi Grand Prix winner, Sebastian Vettel of Red Bull Racing. Think of Formula One as a merry-go-round, a sort of carousel. 17 years ago, it stopped for us to climb aboard. We had no idea then how long our ride was going to be. But as the years went by, we began to hope it might never end. Well, now it has, and it's time to say goodbye. Many fans shared the ride with us. Our thanks to each of you for coming along. We had a lot of fun together, don't you think? Get ready.